Hello everyone, welcome to Covered Bridge on TV8. My name is Kim Fuller and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Covered Bridge Magazine. And I'm Bobby LaRue, the Director of Partnerships over at Covered Bridge Magazine. Uh, today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Max Rowe. Max Rowe is actually a local artist that you're going to learn all about today and he did the most recent cover of Covered Bridge Magazine. Welcome Max. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Kim. Mm -hmm. It's great to meet you guys. So great to have you. So I will, um, it's not a spoiler or anything because the magazine is out <laughs> and people can grab it, but here we are with the newest edition of Covered Bridge. So this art piece is absolutely phenomenal. It's called Red Shred and how fun to put a piece of art on our cover. It's the first time we've done that with Covered Bridge. So Max, tell us a little bit about this piece and also the experience of, of getting this on the cover and just that, you know, the article, interview, and all of that. How'd that go for you? It's been awesome partnering with you guys. Um, this piece in particular, I, I love that we ended up going with this. I think it really pops. And this, this actually, funnily enough, this piece um, kind of started off a whole new uh, run of work that I did that was really kind of loose with the snow. Mm. Um, and the, ski, or the snowboarder on the front, Taylor Godber. Um, she's a huge inspiration. I mean, her writing is amazing. And um, the photographer, Guy Fatal. Um, so I, I, I loved just getting the inspiration from those guys. And, you know, in talking a lot about this article and this issue is about abundance. And for me, like with skiing and snowboarding, first and foremost, like abundance is all about pal. So <laughs> I love to, um, paint pictures of powder. And so this was really good, um, emblematic of that. And then, um, and also, yeah, just, I, I love to receive the inspiration. We're, we're, we live in this really awesome age where we have so much access to really cool inspiration from all over the world. And uh, I'm, I feel really grateful to get to take inspiration from other people and turn it into something special and new. And then, and, go out and inspire more people with that. More people to ski, more people to care about skiing, more people to care about art, um, and, and everything in the magazine. So there's a lot of other really cool stuff in here too. Oh, wow, well, thank you for that. Yeah. Now, um, the article really does get into how you get your mindset around painting. And you know, we mentioned a little bit in there about the flow state. Can you speak to that? I mean, I think of snowboarding, number one, as like my most flow state, right? Mm -hmm. And I would imagine you're in a similar mindset when the brush strokes are just coming together, right? Yeah, it's, it's one thing that I love about like painting skiers and snowboarders is that, like you said, when you're out skiing and snowboarding, you can really get in that flow state. And so painting that subject matter also helps me get into that flow state when I'm painting. And I really feel like that's when I do my best work is when I kind of get into the flow. Um, because a lot of my work is like really splattery and really action oriented. So kind of getting in the zone with it is really important for me because you have to really feel it. Um, you know, the flow state is kind of an elusive thing and not everybody knows how to describe it, but if you've experienced it, you know exactly what that is. So I really love to try to recreate that feeling and give that feeling, give that inspiration to um, my audience. No, I, I really enjoy that, and you kind of nailed it with the flow state. Like once you once you've experienced it, you you know what it is, right? But you can't always get there on a drop of a dime. Yeah. Um, and it does take sometimes that that process of you know focusing on maybe your snowboarding to get into your mental mindset for for painting. Um, you brought up something unique about getting inspiration from others. You know, I I looked at this cover, and I don't have many photos of me shredding pow in the backcountry, <laughs> but if I did, I'd be like, wow, I'd love that on my wall. Is that something? the audience could take advantage of if they have a really, you know. Absolutely, yeah. If you have a sick photo of you <laughs> sending it, hit me up, send it to me. I'm always looking for new inspiration and cool. I love to meet the people that I get to paint. Um, that's a real treasure, honestly, to get to share that with other people. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Max, what is your, your art background and, and how has that evolved? Sure. I've been painting for a really long time. It's something I grew up doing um, at home. I went to the University of Colorado and studied studio art there. Um, and so I've always kind of, it's always been like a constant in my life. Um, it's something that I really love because I know I'll be able to always do it. So it's like a, a 
lifelong practice, which I love about that. Um, yeah. Uh, what was the question? Well, <laughs> Sorry, you so can cut no, that part. <laughs> <laughs> so something, um, a, a quote that we have from you in, in this article, Max Rowe, Finding Flow Through Art and Skiing by Caitlin Emig. Um, that's the fun thing about art is what you said. As I continue to grow and learn more about the world and myself, my art changes as well. It's something that always keeps me invested in doing it for myself. Yeah. So how has it evolved for you? So I've always, I've always just really been gravitated to paint subjects of things that I'm interested in. Um, so for a long time, I painted just figures. I was really into figure drawing and figure painting, and that kind of evolved into... Um, I did a lot of yoga paintings for a while, which is really cool. Bobby, I know, is a yoga teacher. so um, And then I've kind of moved away from yoga and gotten more into action sports. And, and I, I've grown up skiing. I'm really lucky and blessed that way to I have a lifelong ski practice as well. Um, so it's something that I've gotten, as I've gotten a little bit older, I'm, I'm not skiing 100 days a year anymore, but I did do that for a long time. <laughs> But this is kind of a new way for me to um, be part of the ski culture and the ski environment. Um, and it's, it's fun to get to give back to the community um, and, the, and the ski culture in a new way. So I'm really excited about that. And then, you know, just continuing forward, um, how my subject matter will continue to evolve and change. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm always interested in painting what I like to do. So I just learned how to surf last week. I was <laughs> in Costa Rica, which is so cool. Um, got to surf a bunch of waves down there. And so now I'm really excited to paint some surfers. And, uh, it, you know, very similar to snowboarding, but kind of want to inject some more tropical vibes, some new color schemes, that type of thing. So. Yeah, I love that. I could see surfing definitely uh, fitting your style of, of work, yeah. you know, the spray <laughs> and, and everything that you do as far as the detail goes. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, too, like, you know, yes, someone can commission a piece from you, but they can also go to a few galleries, if I'm not mistaken, and, and find your work and purchase something right off the wall there, right? Absolutely, yeah. So right now I'm showing work at the Royal Street Fine Art Gallery. It's in Aspen. So I recommend anybody that's interested in seeing it in person, and it is awesome to see in person, um, go there, check it out. All of my original paintings are also UV uh, reactive, which means they glow under a black light. Wow. So it's, it's really hard to photograph, and it is also a thing that I, I love for it to be like um, this really cool first impression. You see it, you don't see that on paper, but then you get to see it in person and have this like deep reaction. It, it's it's really cool to see people um, get so excited. This is like two paintings in one. So mm. so I definitely um, wish everybody that has an interest to go check them out in person there. Um, and you can also see everything on my website. It's maxflowart.com um, as well as my Instagram, which is at maxflowart. So great. Now I, I have this idea that we need to do a pop up with you. Um, oh yeah, right? I would we could love to. we could bring yeah. people together and have a bunch of your paintings there and Let's have the have magazines a party. there. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Stay tuned for details on the party with Max Rowe and Covered Bridge. Um, but yeah, this is just such an honor to have on the cover of Covered Bridge, our fifth issue, the Abundance issue. Thanks for tapping into that theme in so many ways, and it, it truly is an honor to meet you, Max. And you're very talented, and it's great to have you in the Valley. Well, thanks so much. I'm, yeah. I'm super honored to get to participate, and thank you guys very much. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching Covered Bridge on TV8. Be sure to pick up the newest issue with Max's art on the cover, The Abundance Issue, and thanks for tuning in.